Hey everyone, in this quick video here I wanted to explain how I use um, just one affiliate link for Amazon to promote all three of well three of their online stores. So Amazon.ca, Amazon.com, and a Amazon.co.uk I actually promote with just one affiliate link. And what allows me to do that, first of all, is the fact that the products I'm promoting are on all three of those sites. Um, I checked that out first. It's not going to be the ca case um, for all products, of course. Amazon.com has significantly more products than than the, the other sites, than the other Amazon stores. So I just I've noticed that. Well, of course, with books, this will work. Um, and I've also noticed with appliances in the past year or so this has worked um, a lot of the appliances that exist on dot com also exist on the Canadian and UK sites as well so that's why this works in this case um, of course this wouldn't work for every product and another thing that makes this work um, what I'm doing is actually I I installed a tool that works in the background and you can find them online um, free and paid tools you just do a quick Google search um, and what it'll do is determine the geogra geographic location of the visitor to your web page. And with that information, you can automatically change um, where the link goes, where the affiliate link goes. So for this Green Star Juicer, for example, I land on this page. I'm in Canada. If I click it, you'll see that I end up on the um, Amazon.ca website. Okay, so if somebody from the U.S. came, they click this link they would end up on Amazon.com for the same product. And the way I accomplish that, um, I just use actually one file. Every single one of these links actually actually links just to one file. Um, oh, this one's for inline SEO. That's, that's something different. But uh, this one, another one. I just link to the Amazon-search.php file. And then I pass a search term in the query string. So that's the same as this up here. And here. So that I just changed the uh, search term. So now I'll show you the, what the code looks like on that Amazon search page. So here it is here. So first of all, I have the technology in place that's going to determine the geographic location. In this case, I'm only looking on the country. Um, some of the tools will let you look at the determine the city and the province or state of the visitor as well. Um, for this application I'm just looking at the country. That's all I need. That's the only information I need. And it stores it in a variable called geo underscore country. So what I'm gonna what I'm doing in this code here is looking at the that variable and if it matches CA then I know it's a Canadian visitor. So I'm gonna link them to the Canadian Amazon Canadian website. And then for UK visitors, co.uk and for US visit, or actually anybody else, I'm linking them to .com. All right, and so this happens all automatically. So if somebody clicks that link, it goes through here, and then just determines what the redirect URL is going to be out of one of these three, and then automatically redirects them to that page. And I made it a little bit more versatile as well, where I'm just passing in a search term. So the search term, as you'll see on, on here, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the search term is green plus star plus juicer. So that gets passed into a variable uh, ST. So I'm grabbing that here and, and putting it in a variable called search underscore term. And then what I'm doing is passing that search term within the URL. It ends up in the middle of the URL for Amazon. Um, that's just the way it works. Uh, actually, I could have put it at the end. It's just a big query string. But anyway, I took the um, URL for a sample search um, in my Amazon affiliate program. There's three different, there's, um, for the affiliate programs, you have to be an affiliate for all, like separately for each each of the Amazon websites. So anyway, I did a, I grabbed a, um, a sample search URL with my, with my affiliate ID tagged on there. And then I just made it so it's a very so the search term is a variable that gets passed in from the query string. So not only is it uh, dynamic in the sense that it'll search for whatever information I pass to it, but it's also dynamic in the sense it'll go to the proper country based on the visitor's country. And that's that's really how it works. Um, 
in the article where I embed this uh, video, I will also supply the code that I use. Um, of course, you have to find a means for filling this variable, first of all. And like I said, you can do a quick Google search, and there's free and paid tools online that will help you with that. And that's all there is to it. Uh, this allows me to promote um, Amazon products for uh, three different countries. And and why would I want to do this? Like I know Amazon.com is the biggest one, but me from Canada, if I'm able to ship a product, especially a juicer or you know or a, any other kind of appliance, if I'm able to ship it from within Canada, I won't have to pay the duty, and the shipping is going to be cheaper. The shipping charges in most cases will be cheaper. So I'd rather ship from my own country than from the U.S. Um, or from the U.K., of course, for that matter. And same with people in the U.K. They don't really want to ship from the U.S. if they're able to get the same product within their own country. And that's why it's helpful. Um, the same goes for books. So if you have a website, uh, an Amazon website, affiliate site um, where you promote books, it's the same thing is going to hold true there. You can... Uh, you can redirect the visitors to the prop proper Amazon country website um, to buy their product. And then I bet you 99% of the cases, the same book will be available on all three sites. In fact, um, there's more than just these three sites for Amazon. There's a, there's several others. I just f focused on these three, um, mostly the English speaking. So, all right. Uh, I hope you found some value in this. So thank you for watching.